Welcome to PubSite, the easy to use website builder for books and authors. In this video, we will cover the area of navigation and pages. This will be your menu, essentially, and the pages in your website. When you first log into your admin area, you come to your dashboard page, which looks like this. If you haven't yet watched the Getting Started video, I strongly uh, encourage you to do that. It's very helpful, gives you a good overview of PubSite and how to set up your first website. Here we're going to be looking at pages and navigation. When you first come here, this is your main navigation. This is essentially what, what your menu is. And as you see here, you have home about the author, products, contact, and my account. This my account only comes into play if you have activated e-commerce, which is included with PubSite. Since we haven't on the site we're working with, let's move that over here. Whenever you make a change, you always click Save Changes. So here's the site that we built in the getting started video and we'll be working with it now. So as you see, it, as I said, the menu is home about the author, products and contact. The products has a drop down menu with search, show all and categories that we set up. You may not need this type of menu, especially if you only have a couple of books. So let's see what we can do here. First of all, you can always rename the menu items. So for example, instead of about the author, you just wanted it to say the author. You would just go in, make the change, click update page, save changes always, come back, refresh, and now you'll see it just says the author. If you wanted to add additional items to your menu, for example, in this site we built, we've made a few blog posts and there is a blog built into PubSite. So let's take the blog and add that over here. Again, save changes, go to your site, refresh, and now the blog is here. It's as simple as that to add and remove items from your menu. These can also be moved up and down, so you can place them wherever you want. Now, as I said, this products menu may not be the best menu for you. So let's see what we can do with it. First of all, we do have a page on the site. If you go into products, show all, that lists the three books that are on this website. And that's what it means by show all. Okay, so what we can do to make this a little simpler is let's remove this entire thing. So now it's not included in the navigation or the menu. Now let's take the show all, which is what we do want, and bring it back over here. Well, let's put it there. And now again, show all, probably not the best descriptive tag for your menu item. So let's change it. And we'll just call it books update page again save changes now let's go take a look now you see that you have the blog on the menu and this has been changed to books you click on it and it goes directly to that page so you don't have the search or the products or anything else okay so now let's say you only have one book so let me just show you a little trick for doing that Again, let's move this off, put it back over here where it was. And we're going to now add a new page. Click add a page. But what we need is let's say this is our let's say this is our only book. We'll go to it. We need to go up here and control C copy the URL. Now we'll go back here, and since we only have one book, the menu item might be the book. 
And now what you need to do is click, this is an external link. Just meaning that uh, it's not going to link directly uh, to one of the other items on the menu. So now we paste in that URL you had copied, add the page. Pages are always added on this side down at the bottom. So there you have the book. You bring it, let's put it here, save changes, refresh, and now you have the book in the menu. Click on it. We're already on that page, so let's jump to another page and now click here and you go just to that single book that you have. So that's a good setup if you only have one book. And of course, as you get more books, then you can do the other method. It's easy to change back and forth and you can do it yourself. Okay, so there are other pages over here. Some of these, particularly the ones in blue, are automatically generated. So for example, this website uh, has a, a module for appearances built in. So you enter those and they appear down here on the bottom of the author page. But if you wanted these to appear on their own separate page and have an item in the menu, you can do that. It's already created here. So all you would have to do is drag it into your menu and it would be as simple as that. Let's leave that there for now. Okay, so now let's uh, show you how to add a new page. We had started to do it for the, the book page, but to do one that would have content in it, let's just call this uh, media. And let's spell correctly. Okay, the link is automatically set up. You should fill in some basic uh, search engine optimization, uh, meta tags as they're called. Add the page. Oh, this link is already being used, so let's do media five. Okay, again, it's always added down here. And we would bring it over here. Let's put it right before contact. And then we would, let's save the changes. And then we would need to put some content in it. As you can see, it's a blank page, but we are on Media 5 right there. So click this button right here, go in, and let's call this Media. This will be the heading on the page. And then you can just put in some content. Now the heading on the page, you generally want to be larger. So you can either set a font size or use these preset headers, which is a good way to stay consistent. Let's always use heading two at the top of pages. Click Save Changes. And now you have the page. You can see that. And you can just click here to go back in and add more content. Let's move the, remove this page. I had already set up a page called Media and Press. And let's bring that one over here. So you can have a good idea of how you can add content on two pages. Save changes, go back to the site, refresh, and now Media and Press is on the menu. And I had just easily set this up. Uh, you know, often on media pages, you wanna uh, provide author photos and book covers to download put in some review quotes or praise, maybe some contact information. So that's easily how, how you can add a page and put content in it. Now you can put any sort of content in these pages. Uh, if you want to do a book excerpt, a other information about the book, the characters, if you want to put an author interview, uh, you can do all of that uh, and add pages for it. You can put them on your menu, uh, or you can link to them from other pages, or you can make them drop down pages. So, for example, I had set up the blank media page, which is why we got that message before. Let's say we wanted to add something here as a sub menu. 
save changes, go back, reload. And now when you go here, there's a sub menu item of that media page. Okay, so that's how you uh, set up your menu, decide what's going to be on it and in what order and what the names are. You can add pages. You can remove items from your menu by dragging them over here, likewise putting them back. We also have footer navigation. These links would appear at the bottom of every page. So for example, if you were doing e-commerce, you might want terms of use or privacy policy. You can just drag them over, click save changes, and then put whatever content you wanted into them. So that's it for uh, pages and navigation. The only final thing I want to show you, because it is on this menu here, is something called custom scripts. Don't let this scare you. For some things that you might want to put on your site, and a good example is uh, pop-up forms for mailing list signups. You've probably seen them where you arrive at a website on the home page, and all of a sudden a little pop-up comes up and it's a form to sign up for their mailing list. Often you need to have access to what's called the head of the page. This is an HTML tag. So you uh, can get the code from, say, say you're using MailChimp for your mailing list form. You go there, set up a pop-up form. They give you the little code. You come back and paste it in here and then you would have a pop-up uh, form on your website. In some cases, the best place to add it is the bottom of the page, and wh whatever you're working with, they'll instruct you the, uh, on the best place to put it. So that's it. That is uh, your uh, menu and navigation and pages and how to use it. I hope you found this useful. Please watch the other videos. Thank you.